Karnataka Solar Power Policy 2014 to 2021. With objective of encouraging solar energy generation in Karnataka, Government of Karnataka has launched Solar Power Policy. The Solar Power Policy is effective from year 2014 and will be in force till year 2021. Highlights of Solar Policy Applicability All solar power projects namely solar PV and solar thermal established in the state of Karnataka shall be eligible for benefits under the policy. Targets The government of Karnataka has kept a minimum target of 3% solar energy out of total consumption by 2021 which will result in 2000 megawatt segments. The above targets are planned to achieve from following segments. Projects to promote distributed generation by landowning farmers throughout the state. Intention here is promote solar energy projects preferably land-owning famous with a minimum capacity of 1 MWP per land and maximum capacity of 3 MWP per land. The power generated will be sold to ESCOMs at the tariff notified by Kirk from time to time. Projects based on competitive bidding process for capacities more than 3 MWP. Credl as a nodal agency shall invite proposals on specific orders from Government of Karnataka. After the projects are approved and selected, Government of Karnataka shall facilitate purchase of energy generated through ISCOMs. Projects under Renewable Energy Mechanism Under this mechanism a solar energy generators can sell electricity to the ISCOMs at average pool of power purchase cost as determined by Kirk. Projects under captive generation, the projects under this category shall consume power for captive use. The projects under this category shall be administered by ESCOMs and KPTCL. Projects under independent power producer, power plants those put up for sale of power to third party constitute this category. Projects under this category are not eligible to get RECs. Projects under bundle power, the state encourages central, Karnataka state-owned PSUs and power exchanges initiated by government or PSUs and power exchanges initiated by government or PSUs for setting up solar projects in state for providing solar power bundled with thermal power from outside state at the rates to be determined by government subject to the approval of CERC, Kirk. Grid connected solar rooftop projects and metering. The government of Karnataka shall promote grid connected solar rooftop projects on public buildings, domestic, commercial, and industrial establishments through net metering and gross metering methods based on tariff orders issued by Kirk from time to time. Solar off grid and decentralized distributed generation. To provide access to electricity where transmission and distribution systems are difficult to establish, solar powered off grid solutions are encouraged. Government of Karnataka shall encourage options like solar street lights, rooftop SPV systems with battery storage, and others in both rural and urban areas for the purpose of reducing dependency on grid. Other initiative Solar parks. Development of solar parks to utilize uneven wasteland for power generation. Tax concessions in respect of entry tax, stamp duty and registration charges shall be as per Karnataka industrial policy. The industrial consumers opting to buy power from solar power under various schemes shall be allowed corresponding pro rata reduction in contract demand on permanent basis but subject to the decision of Kirk in this regard.